Hi everyone. In today's video, I wanted to talk about and show you this new product that I just recently bought and it's made by ISDIN. I don't know how to pronounce this. And it's a very interesting product that apparently is very good for weak and brittle nails. And there's actually some science behind it. So today we are going to be showing you how this product applies, talk about how it works. And we will also talk about the ingredients and the Italian study that was published in National Institute of Health, National Library of Medicine, and National Center of Bio for Biotechnology Information at pubmed.gov. So this is it. So this is a nail strengthening pen, and this has a water-based solution of uh, like two main ingredients. So one is hyaluronic acid and the other product is, or the other ingredient is the mastic gum, which is the pistachia lenticus gum. And it also has some silicone in it. So let's see, first of all, how this looks and how it's supposed to be applied. This is the first time I'm actually uh, opening it. So this is kind of a first reaction video as well. Pretty, pretty looking pen, no? Yeah. So, okay, so this has this brush. And you're supposed to click it here um, initially like 23 times or something in order for the product to go down to the brush. And then you're supposed to use it daily on the, the nails. And we're going to be using Mr. Soul and Life here as a, a tester to show you how the product works and how it looks. All right. So you got to click it 23 times. Yeah. So let's just click it 23 times and see how this works. Fifteen. Oh, 22. Okay. So it looks like a kind of a gel. Right. Okay. So you're supposed to apply it on clean and dry nails. Okay. I'm going to press it a couple more times because the, the gel got absorbed. So yeah, no kidding. It's like 25 times. So you're supposed to apply it on clean and dry, dry nails and okay. So it's quite liquidy and under the nails, you can also apply it on the skin. Okay. And it's supposed to help the ridgy nails as well. So this is going to be very, very interesting. So, oh my goodness. Okay. No, first mistake. You're supposed to click it each time to release more product. Okay. Let's do it again. Duh. So I guess for each nail, it has to click. Cause you know, you have to use up the product. It dries very quickly. As you can see, okay, this one had a full, full click. I would say it's super easy to use. What would you say? Would you use it if it helped your nails? No. Wow. Okay. There's some honesty for you. Okay. So it's not that I don't believe in the product. I, I just don't, he doesn't care. I just don't use these things. Ridges don't bother me. Okay. Well, it's not just for ridges. It's for like, just generally for, to make the, the nails appearance better. Okay. So let's just look very quickly. You're saying my nails are ugly. Dun, dun, dun. So I came across this study a while ago and then I had a viewer, um, one of our viewers, Carol, that also sent me a link to the study. So thank you so much, Carol, for, for your input. I really appreciate it. So, I move my hand so first of all, let's look at the ingredients and then we will look at the studies. Okay. So first of all, we have water, water is water. Then we have alcohol, which is a great solvent penetration enhancer and creates cosmetically elegant light formulas, great astringent and antimicrobial. Sometimes very often actually it's in sunscreen to sunscreens to make them um, feel much lighter. Then we have the PEG 40 hydrogenated castor oil, which is a em emulsifier and surfactant. Then we have um, betaine glycol, and it's usually a solvent 
for the other ingredients and it makes the product absorb faster and deeper into the skin. So it's a penetration enhancer and it makes the product spread nicely over the skin and it also attracts water into the skin. The next ingredient is acrylate copolymer, which is a big molecule, a big polymer molecule that has a bunch of different versions and different uses. So it can be a film former, it can be a thickening agent, it, it can increase the water resistance in sunscreens. And another ingredient here that I cannot pronounce here, um, there is very little information available about this and it's considered an organic silicone. All right, so then we have this other ingredient. I'm not going to try to pronounce it either. So that one sets the pH of the products to be correct. And it has alkaline pH, so it neutralizes the acidic ingredients. Then we have the caprylic, capric triglyceride. It's a super common emollient and it makes your skin feel nice and smooth. It's very well tolerated by the skin. Then they have the, the um, active ingredient, which is that hydroxypropyl trimonium hyaluronate. My goodness, I probably pronounced it wrong. They say in addition to the basic qualities of hyaluronic acid, like the um, moisture retention and viscoelasticity, this version has a special adherence power and it is not easily rinsed off, which makes sense. Then we have this other ingredient. It sets also pH for cosmetics. It's very alkaline. There is some bad wrap when it comes to this product but they say generally not to worry about it then we have biosaccharide gum 2 and that is an interesting polysaccharide which is a big sugar molecule obtained by bacterial fermentation so your nails are going to fer ferment and according to the manufacturer is a protecting agent against damage from external aggressors that accelerate skin aging and it's a booster of skin skin comfort stimulating the release of pleasure molecules yeah, honestly. Pleasure molecules. Yeah. And okay. What does that have to do with my? Uh, no idea. No idea. I'm just reading the ingredients. <laughs> anyway, so the the second uh, active ingredient that they say it's that mastic gum. So pistachia lentiscus, pistachia lentiscus, <laughs> mastic gum. So mastic gum generally is a well, it's an aromatic raisin, raisin, resin. Raisin. It's a <laughs> aromatic resin. Uh, coming from the bark of the tree that grows on the Greek island of Chios. That's very romantic. Um, it was traditionally used as a chewing gum to clean the teeth and freshen the breath thanks to it, its antimicrobial properties. But it also has different properties for the nails. This was from a cosmetic website. Then it has propylene glycol, which is a solvent, humectant, and to some extent penetration enhancer. And it has some preservatives. Uh, benzoyl alcohol, this other product, this other ingredient, and methyl paraben. By the way, parabens are not bad, so don't worry about the parabens. Okay, so now that we see the ingredients, let's look at the two very interesting studies. Okay, so the first one, it has been published in PubMed, and it's called Clinical and Instrumental Objective Evidence of the Efficacy of the new water-based nail strengthening solution containing pistachia, lenticus, and hyaluronic acid applied for up to six months to improve the appearance of weak, brittle nails. So very quickly here, it talks about how the brittle nails in, are very common. 20% of population might be dealing with it. And so they did the study in two countries. One was done in Portugal. The other one was done in Italy. And um, they had 60 patients in both sexes, and they the results were actually very good. There was a, a full study that I will show you as well, but basically they said the study's subjects presented a statistically significant improvement in the global assessment scale, and 76% of the patients had improvement in their nail appearance. So they had reduction in the nail plate roughness with improved resistance and decreased distal breakage, breakage were the most evident benefits demonstrated on clinical and instrumental um, evaluations. No side effects were reported. All patients reported an improvement in the nail appearance using the product for one month, three months, and six months, and had a positive opinion on the product. 
The conclusion is the new product is effective, safe, and easy to use option for topical treatment of brittle nails. Moreover, its ease of application and cosmetic qualities allow for good compliance. Mind you, the funding was done by the ISDN, ISDIN company who makes the product. But at the same time, that's not surprising. Okay, and here you can read the, the full study and I'll leave a link below as well. And they were explaining, and you, have, you can see some uh, pictures as well. They were explaining how the study was done in Portugal and Italy. And here you have some pictures. So it looks like mostly peeling nails were have improved and they were saying that uh, generally the improvement started at 14 days but so the biggest improvement i think happened within the first month and then up to three months they did a study in one country and up to six months in in the other country so uh marta during our live our youtube live mentioned that um it's kind of hard to judge this because it was done i guess on both hands or feet so it would be good to see if the improvement was also if they used it only on one hand versus not used it on the other hand if there was also an improvement and i actually found another study and here we go okay here's a link to two different studies one is in vitro and the other one was the clinical evidence so in vitro in vitro they did a study on, they applied the product on hoofs of cows. Mm -hmm. Apparently they're very similar. The keratin is very sim similar to humans' nails. It's not as tight as humans' nails, but apparently it's very, very close. Anyway, so they did, um, they applied once daily for 14 days for evaluation for firmness and thickness before and after applications. And then also they did a clinical study where 23 females subjects affected by the brittle nails were included and they applied it once daily for three months. Signs and symptoms were rated by investigators and by the participants during, treatments at, during treatment at 28 and 84 days with different methods and dermoscopic images. So it looks like a pretty serious stuff. All right, so what are the results? In the in vitro study, the daily application of the product led to significant increase in firmness index. And in the clinical study, so on the 23 females, on the treated hand presented an improvement in the nail appearance and weakness after 28 and 84 days. And the nails that were not treated showed no improvement. So they only did one hand. And the other one, I guess the in vitro was tested versus placebo. Okay. So conclusion says that the product, the pistachia, 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 pistachia um, lenticus and hyaluronic acid was shown to significantly increase nail firmness in the in vitro study and in the clinical study showed significantly improved brittle nail appearance. The hydro sol solubility and easy to apply format of the product were reported to be factors of a good compliance and they considered this product to be important tool to improve and reinforce the aspect of brittle nails. Okay, patient global assessment evaluation. The patients evaluated the improvement of the nail after application of the product in a study on the treated hand after 28 days. So 9.5% of subjects noticed no improvement, 47.6% uh, some improvement, 23% Point eight, a clear improvement and in 20% almost a very good improvement after 28 days and on the untreated hand 85% of people sub people noticed no improvement and 14% of people noticed some improvement and after 84 days so I guess three months 20% of people noticed some improvement, 60% of people clear improvement, and 20% a very good improvement. After 84 days on untreated nails, 100% of people noticed no improvement. Okay, so after three months, it looks like the best, obviously, results you would get after three months, but it looks like after one month, you already are seeing results. So after three months, 60% of people, do you think that's a good 
number, 60% of people got clear improvement and 20% got very good improvement. I would say it's worth trying, no? Well, 60 plus 20 equals 80. Yeah. So if you have 80% of the people who have had improvement, just overall, yeah. I would say it's worth trying out. So it looks like 20% of subject noticed some improvement, 60% clear improvement, and 20% very good improvement. So everybody noticed some improvement. There you go. So that's really good. Okay, so my conclusion. All right, I think it's very easy to use. It dries very, very quickly. The, so that's pros, that's, that's a good thing. The bad thing is you then cannot wear nail polish for three months if you wanted to, to test it. But if you have very damaged nails, nail polish doesn't last anyway. So I would kind of take a break from nail polish and use this. I would definitely try it. My nails are not damaged, so I can't try it, but I would definitely try it if, um, you know, if I had nail issues. So this product is available in Spain. I got it for 20 euros and on Amazon. It got here in one day. And in the US, it's also available for about 20 to $30 or something like that. And it's available on Amazon. So if you would like to purchase it, um, there is a affiliate link in the description box. And if you are going to use it, can I please ask you to take some pictures so we can together establish if this product is working or not. So please send us or just take some really good pictures. Like I suggest, um, like I explained in one of the videos, which I will link below as well, how to take pictures of good pictures of nails and, uh, before picture, and then maybe a month later and please send us the, the results because I'm really curious. Um, there are so, so many people asking me to give them idea how to improve their nails. And this would be a very good tool, in my opinion, to, to, to give them. And you know what? I actually do like these type of products because I find polishes by itself and kind of going back to that whole conversation about the nitrocellulose. But I think nitrocellulose based polishes in the long run kind of have sometimes negative impact on the nails. So you're kind of going two steps forward and two steps back sometimes with nail polish based strengtheners. So this way, maybe uh, you will have better results. I have high hopes. I'll be honest with you. We are going to be using this product on Mr. Stone Life's nails every day for a month. And we will give you an update on this video in a month. No, I'll make sure that we apply the product that we'll use it. Yeah. Okay. then. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're getting, I'm going to repeat myself, but it's really important. If you're going to get this product, please take before and after pictures and please keep us updated. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think when it comes to the ingredients and the product and everything mm -hmm. else. Thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Ciao.